guys um, welcome back to our channel if you're new here my name is Sam and I am the owner of Malia stitches which is just, which is an Etsy shop where we sell kids birthday shirts tutus baby clothing all that kind of stuff um, today I wanted to do a quick video on burp cloths I found this pattern online on Etsy and I will link it down below um, I'm in the middle of putting it the pattern together so I printed it off and um, I'm just going to take you with me um, as I make the pattern and um, cut it out and then sew it on the sewing machine so here we go okay so here I've already started cutting it out and then that's when I decided oh I should probably bring you guys along um, so, like I said, I will put the link to this pattern down below. So, what you're going to do is print it off, scale it to 100% on your print on your printer. Um, they come with a scale box here. So, just to make sure that everything scales correctly, I use just a basic quilting ruler, and I just line up. Try and bring it close to you so you can see. I just line up that square right there with a one inch square on my ruler. It lines up perfectly. So that's how you know you have it scaled correctly when you print it. So um, this pattern has, it comes in three pieces. It has an A or one, one, two, three. And you're just gonna cut it out. When I cut at, cut it out, this when I cut it out. When I cut out this first, um, let's see if I can take it off without tearing it. When I cut out this first pattern piece, I just cut it all the way around. When I cut out the second pattern piece, I left this here so that I could take this or lay this right on top of it. And tape it together so you're going to line up the the a and the b marker just like that and tape it down so now you have something kind of overlapping on the back you can go on the back side and tape that flap down there so it doesn't get caught on anything then we're going to do the same thing cut this pattern piece out the same way so I'm gonna leave this alone I'm not gonna cut this I'm just gonna cut around the rest of the line here I was gonna go live this weekend um, trying the stream yard thing or app and um, I just haven't really been feeling very well I think I ate something that didn't settle with my stomach, so um, I was afraid if I went live and did this that um, it, I might have an interruption and have to run away for a second. So um, I did it this way instead. So uh, let me, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but let me bring you in closer. Sorry, you're plugged into the outlet so here I've lined up C on both sides and D on both sides and then I'm just gonna tape it down so here you go now you have your pattern um, I do recommend if you're going to use paper to use cardstock paper um, to make your pattern. This is just a test template to see, for me, this is just a test template to see if I like this pattern. Um, if I do, then I'm going to cut it out of some um, pattern uh, hard plastic so that I have a, a more sturdy pattern. Also, you can do it like this, where you put all the pieces together. I don't want a pattern piece just laying around this big. I don't really have a whole lot of room to store patterns. So I'm gonna fold this in half and find the center. 
line everything up that I can and I'm going to crease it here and then I'm going to open it back up and then I'm going to cut this right here this just takes your pattern and makes it half the size and whichever side you want to use doesn't matter I'm going to use this side and what I'm going to write on my pattern right here is an arrow across like this you can't see what I'm doing sorry I'm going to bring you a little bit closer so I put an arrow here and then I'm going to write the word fold right here so essentially what you do when you have to cut it out is fold the fabric and you're going to line this up to the fold and then cut it out so then when you open it up you'll have the whole thing I'll show you when we cut it out so hopefully that makes more sense so I'm gonna write fold here and that's just for me so I know that that's where the fold is and then I'm gonna save this just move it out of the way just in case something happens to this pattern while we're cutting it out I have that one to go off of they should be exactly the same pieces okay so we're gonna go over to the cutting table and cut some fabric out okay so now we're at the cutting table I was talking to the camera and it wasn't recording so let's start over <laughs> so here I have my cotton fabric this is just a quilters cotton fabric and then I chose a fleece uh, to go with it so you need to cut two pieces um, from this pattern one for the top front and one for the back you can choose whatever fabric you want whatever fabric types you want um, these again are just scrap fabrics that I have so that's why I chose them As we are just practicing here so I have my fabric folded it is directional fabric so my direction of my print is going up and down here's the fold and I have the raw edge here and then the other raw edge there I'm going to place my pattern on the fold I didn't pull up enough so make sure you have equal amounts or enough for your pat pattern to fit to cut it out there hopefully that made sense so I'm lining my part that I marked as fold here on the fold now you can pin this you can pin right through your paper and pin all your layers together or you can weight down with something heavy I'm going to use this just to hold everything in place while you cut it so I'm going to move this out of the way so I'm going to take my cutter my rotary tool and I'm just going to cut around the pattern you can take a water soluble fabric marker or a um, I don't know if I have one in here yet yeah, do or you can use a friction pen like this one This friction pen uh, erases with heat. You can just trace around it and then cut it out. Um, if you're not very confident in your cutting skills. So I'm just gonna do it this way. we go now we have it cut out and like I was trying to explain earlier you have this folded in half if you cut on the fold now you have an entire piece laid out I hope that makes sense so I'll do it again with the fleece
this out of our way. And then open it up to make sure everything looks good. Looks pretty good. All right. So now we have our pattern cut out, our pattern pieces cut out. So what we're going to do is you're going to choose which side of the fleece you like the best to be on the outside. And that the part that you want the bet or that you want on the outside is going to face up towards you. Then you're going to take your cut fabric you're going to turn it over so the wrong side of the fabric is facing up towards you. Okay. Now if your pattern doesn't quite fit, you can flip it. Pieces should line up fairly even with each other if you cut it out right. There we go. And then I'm going to get some pins. And I'm just going to start pinning it together like this. On, on either end, it doesn't matter. On one end, I'm going to leave about a three inch opening to turn it. So I'm going to kind of mark that with my pins there. And just keep pinning around. this and I'm just going to put one pin in the middle so I don't confuse the ends and I know that the pins that are separated up here is where I'm going to kind of start and stop. So now we're going to go over to the sewing machine and sew this together. Okay so we're here at the sewing machine. Okay, so I'm going to start here where my pin is that I marked for my opening. And we're just going to sew all the way around the edge here. Um, I'm going to use a stitch length of 3.5. Maybe I should make that a 4. And um, the reason why I upped it a little bit is because the fleece you want to have a little bit, it's easier to sew if you have a little bit thicker um, uh, stitch length. So we're just going to back stitch here and go around. might need to pin a little bit more often because or more than what I did because it's shifted um, you can see here it's shifted just a little bit um, I have a little um, tag that I made this tag um, I made with um, just the cotton interlocking uh, knit fabric that you can get at Joann's and a piece of the um, printable iron-on paper that you can get at Walmart and I just made up some tags in the Silhouette Studio and printed that out and then heat pressed that to a piece of the fabric and then cut these out individually so um, now I have my own little personalized uh, logo tags. And then it has my logo and it says made in the US, wash gentle, cycle, and air dry. So I'm just going to kind of tuck this in. 
You can put it wherever you want on your thing. Just gonna tuck that in so it gets caught in the seam. go around the seam and trim it up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Let me get my fabric scissors when I cut this out um, I'm not gonna cut right here where my hole is I'm gonna leave that area alone so that you have a little bit extra fabric to turn in when uh, it's time to turn it. Okay, so here I have this left open, or I didn't cut this, but I trimmed around the rest of it to get rid of the bulk. So now we're going to turn it right side facing. Take this little turning tool I've got um, and just run it along the seam so that everything is pushed out. Okay, so here I have it. Um, you can take it to the iron if you have an iron and press it um, I'm gonna take it to my heat press and press it so here you, if you can if you can see let me make sure you can see yeah so here's where I left that extra fabric it's the hole and it just kind of wants to turn in on itself which is good so if you just fold it in kind of try and roll it up so it matches your curve of your, I don't know if you can see that, just roll it in so it kind of matches the curve of your garment here, or your pad, and then you can press that so it'll stay in place, or you can pin it, if you don't want to press at all, you can just pin it. I'm going to press it real quick, make sure it's all nice and straight. I'm behind you now. Let me turn you around. Let the heat press. I'm going to press half of it for just a few seconds. Take it back to the sewing machine. So I'm going to turn you back around. And 
I'm going to top stitch around the edge as close to the edge that I can. So this will be like a 1 8 inch seam allowance and that's going to catch that opening like right here. It'll catch that opening and seal it, everything closed. Okay, so now we have our burp cloth. Sorry, upside down. Here's our little tag. And the opening is closed in. Can't even tell which side it was on. There you go. That's how you make a basic uh, burp cloth. Um, soft. Um, the fleece will be absorbent, um, real soft. The cotton will also be absorbent, and it will also, both of these will wash well. So, there is that. Um, let's see. The only thing I'm not too sure about is this area here. It's kind of narrow. So, I don't know if I need to bulk that up or make it a little bit bigger. Alter the pattern just a little bit, but... Other than that, it's pretty good. Let me turn you. It fits fairly nicely. Um, you can, it might even need to be a little bit longer, to be honest, because you don't want it to, you don't want this spit to go down your back. So we might, I might even make it a little bit longer. But this was a good uh, first try. Again, I'll put the link to the um, or the Etsy shop name down below where I bought this pattern. And then it's a, a way to start. You can always alter patterns to your liking. Um, and then that then they end up becoming one of a kind uh, patterns that you've made. So there you go. Um, one more thing I wanted to do, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you back across the room and um, show you what I want to show you. Okay, so I had a subscriber um, reach out to me. She's in the process of um, getting her business together and she wants to open up a business this spring. Um, she sent me some shirts that she's no longer using. She sent them to me free, so thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate that. Um, I totally would have paid for these, but she wanted to send them to me as a gift. So I wanted to open them on here to show you all what she sent me. And thank you very, very much to you know who you are. Um, I really do appreciate you. I didn't ask if I could tell her name on here, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So let's get into it. Alright, so I believe um, they're a mix of um, companies. So some of them are AJ Blanks, some are ARB. I think the majority of them are AJ Blanks and one is ARB. So I've got this one from ARB. I, these are all shirts. Sorry, I don't know why the camera's all acting all weird. There's that. Maybe I'll adjust you this way and it won't be as bad. Okay. And then I have she sent a couple girl shirts. These are all AJ Blanks. A couple girl shirts. So I'll definitely use those. I just got an order today for this size. So I will 
definitely use that. Um, and then here's some boys' shirts. She sent me. And then she sent me a blue baby gown from AJ Blinks. And she also sent me a bubble sweatshirt from AJ Blinks. Size 14. I'm going to open this up because I've not purchased one of these before. But this is what it looks like. It's long sleeve. It's a bubble sweatshirt, so it's something you would wear like with leggings. Um, it is longer. It's long sleeve, so this is really cute. I'll find something to do use this with maybe use it as a sample and then um, add these to my shop in the fall when the weather starts to cool off this would make a cute easter um, shirt you could put their name or their um, monogram up here and then do some type of applique towards the bottom that would be really cute so that's kind of some ideas you could use with that. And then you can get these at AJ Blank's. Um, her shop's also listed down, or down below, ajblanks.com. This is where I get most of my blanks from. And then this is a baby gown. I've used this before in white. This one is blue. But they are long sleeve and they have a zipper on the side. It zips up really far so you can get right in there and do your embroidery on the front. You can do the embroidery down the side where they do the long name down the side. The applique names, that's really cute. Or you could even uh, do uh, iron on vinyl heat transfer vinyl on these. That's what I use uh, my white baby gowns for. Is the iron on vinyl. So, um, thank you. Thank you so much for sending me these. I really appreciate it. I will definitely use them and find a use for the items I don't already use normally and um, maybe use them as samples in my shop. So thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Uh, if you uh, found this tutorial useful, well, you can see Josie over here, <laughs> um, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like tutorials, um, sewing tutorials, embroidery tutorials, uh, work with me videos, that's kind of what we do on this uh, channel. So uh, subscribe and we'll give you more content like that. If you have any ideas for further videos, put those down below. Uh, and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.